The University of Benin continues to celebrate its alumni. <laughs> The university, founded in 1970, is among the universities owned by the Nigerian government. This year's ceremony is to celebrate alumni of the university. People from home and abroad have come to show support or be honored in their alma mater. This year's event marks the 51st as the event was cancelled last year due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The university therefore combined the award ceremony with the celebration of its golden jubilee. It's looking back, I, I see it as the pedestal and the platform by which I have been able to catapult myself through the benevolence of God to other achievements in life. Uh, without a doubt, Unibem remains the foremost university. It remains and continues to remain the bastion and the citadel for academic excellence. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Benin, Professor Lilian Salami, says the school has produced 350,000 graduates since its inception and past students who have contributed to the development of the society should be honored to do more. In a similar vein, the Excellence and Productivity Awards is an initiative of this present administration to reward members of staff who have distinguished themselves in excellent service in the university. The recipients of these awards are the engine drivers of the university system for its existence and sustainability. The keynote speaker, Ambassador Adamu Emozozo, says universities in Nigeria are faced with challenges, including insecurity and infrastructure. In the case of public universities in Nigeria, particularly those owned by the federal government, each is like a child. I mean, each university is like a child of, out of men, of a father that is constantly challenged by competing interests and resource inadequacy. One of the recipients of the award, Doris Brahma, a retired assistant comptroller general, says the university standard is well structured. Um, it's been a journey because um, we were all students of uh, this university some years ago and um, it's quite uh, pleasing that the vice chancellor, Professor Salami, decided to honor us for, especially she said, um, many of um, the ex-students uh, have uh, made their marks in their various fields. So, and I have been, or a man, I'm, I'm an immigration officer, so I just retired a few months ago. So I rose to this um, rank of Assistant Controller General of Immigration Service. Oh yes, it's a, a way of encouraging people. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, for Doris uh, being a woman and we have a vice chancellor too is a woman um, she I'm very proud of her because she has said in her own profession almost to the peak of her profession as the assistant controller of customs which which women are getting to be part of uh, the hierarchy and I'm I'm glad that she's recognized today Jemima Boloko Arise News Edo